Welcome back to the channel. We just caught bait this morning, loaded up on some pilchers. Both Charlie and Bean were throwing the net. We got sandy keys, we got razor bellies. We got the live one in the front with bait, got the live one in the back with bait. And we're gonna go try to catch some dinner fish. We're going to hit the patch reefs. We got Bean here. What's up everybody? From Bean Screen TV, my buddy Charlie's here. What's going on? No YouTube channel though. You got a YouTube channel? I do. He does, Charlie J. Ellis? Something like that. He does have a few videos up there actually. <laughs> Hang on, it's a little windy and bumpy, but uh, a good day to test out the shallow sport. It's about 12 foot here. Looks kind of broken up. There's a lot on the screen. When the water's silted out like this, those fish, they get a little hungry. So, means getting the chum going though. That's always exciting first thing in the morning. We need dinner, you guys. You can see it's two to three foot chop out here. Oh. No! What was it? He got, my yellow jacks got ate by barracuda. So? Yeah, big barracuda just ate my yellow jack. You got your bait back. I got my bait back. I got my bait out of the yellow jack's mouth, but I didn't get the yellow jack out of the barracuda's mouth. Oh my God. All right, we just had our first bite. We got the pilchers out. Green said it was a nice yellow jack and a cuda stole them away from him. Right away. Just sabotaged. Right away. Oh my God. Big mutt? Something. Big mutt? Something ate the pilcher. Oh, dude, I just got eight too. You did? I just got eight too, Troy. Almost a double. Oh, iron. man, because I had to hold the camera. This could be our dinner. We just need a couple of fish for dinner, guys. I think you got nice mutt. I here. think it's a yellow. What do you think, mutt or yellow? I think it's a mutt. He's staying on the bottom. Yellow, you know? yellow jacks usually scope up. Yeah, it might be a mutt. Who knows? Ah, it's a mutt, but he's too small. Maybe. Oh, Maybe. no, yeah, he is. He's got right. 16. Yep, right type, wrong size. But they're getting closer. Dude, First I fish of the day. Whew. Yeah, that might have been a big mutt. Could have been a jack or a mutt. We're getting a few bites. We just missed some Bean just lost another big one. Bean, can you catch something? That was a bear. Good. I don't want to hear you. Okay. You want to eat bear food tonight? No. Wait, you know, Nick just missed one too. Like yeah, you guys like you did. Tell me you did just miss I one. I had a bite, but a bait's a lot. What are you doing? You're grabbing a new bait? Yeah. Why don't you last bait? Hey, come off the hook. Look at that. Charlie better catch something soon too. We're there he on. is. Charlie's Whoa. on. Whoa! Charlie's on. Ripping oh, that thing. Crushed him. Woo! This thing is furious. That fish is mad. Oh baby! Listen to that real stream. Oh, nice little head shakes here. This thing is furious. Oh! Oh my God! The tax man. Or maybe. I think it's a to begin with. It could be. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we're getting robbed. I'm tied on the bean pole. Bean, don't tell anybody I used your rod. Oh, we're getting bit over here. Oh, we got a bite on that rod too. We got we're double headed. Bean, oh, bean lost him on the next stick. The next I got one. I'm on. I'm on. I got one for dinner. We're not gonna starve. Take the, take this. Out. Charlie, get him. Get him, Charlie. <laughs> we got one for dinner finally. So y'all tell just gonna be 12 inches. He's probably 13 or so. But he'll be good. We're probably gonna cook him whole. Let's see what Charlie's got. Mm. Bottom? Oh, uh, he wasn't that. Charlie got rocked up. Probably a little grouper. Uh. And a bucket's 12 inches across, so an easy way to measure them. Well, uh, it's probably 13 or 14 inches. So, we got one for the grill. Oops. Welcome aboard. So it's blowing like 15 to 18 20. knots, maybe 20 knots, honestly. Saw a white cat break in there. We moved spots, trying to get a few more fish for dinner. Um, it is choppy though, we're still fishing. We got the rods going. Charlie just missed another one back there. <laughs> I don't know, this is, it takes a little practice to get used to these things. Yeah. The bean pole is serious equipment. You need a Nick stick for professionals. Maybe, maybe you need a Nick stick. I don't know, the only thing Atlanta fish was a bean pole today so far. <laughs> nice! Get him up, dude! Oh, yeah. Get him up! Come here, sucker! Big old. Come on now. No. I ain't got it. Oh, it's alright. I need another fish. Charlie's got a keeper mangrove. I got a keeper yelltail. Dean has nothing. Nothing. No game. No game. I only took Nick in like my C plus spot, so. Yeah. We're in the bean hole. The bean hole with bean poles. 
<laughs> that put that curl head down there. Look, I came back with my lips. There we go. The beam's hooked up. Get him, beam. Get him, beam. There he is. Is that a mango? Oh, yeah, that's oh, a big yeah. old mango. That's a good one. Get him. Oh, that's a nice one. There oh, he is. Oh, there Look he is. That, huh? All right, I just caught a big mangrove here, guys. <laughs> no, Bean caught that. Look at that. Dude, huh? don't, don't get got. Yeah. Oh, right. Charlie. Nice. Look at that. Dinner. It looks like a mangrove snapper. Huh. Like dinner. Makes you hungry, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mango tango. He's not as big of a mango, but he'll eat. He'll eat good. He'll eat nice. What do you get off? I think he's we got, got a good. nice, angry grouper. Right, guys, Woo, the beam pole. Go oh, come up. The guy be a big grouper. Definitely. Get him Charlie, like be the fish of the day. You gotta be careful with we this do, thing. We just moved spots again and you can see it's rough. It's two to three feet with white caps everywhere. Blowing 15 to 20 now. Solid three footers honestly. And there's a few bigger ones. Charlie's got on a big fish. Don't break him up Charlie. That could be the fish of the day. That could be the fish of the day. I bet it's a big old red grouper. Oh man, he's angry. He is mad. Oh. This is an angry that fish. That thing. Bad up. Captain Beanpole. <sighs> Yoking him up. There what he is. is. You got color? You saw it? Yeah, he's big. What do we got? Is that a nurse Woo! shark or a grouper? Please don't be a nurse shark. Isn't that a nurse shark? Please is it Nancy? don't be a nurse shark. It's big old Nance. Is it? It yeah. is a nurse shark. Oh yeah. my god. Got the Nance on the uh. Charlie. That's the wrong spe that's the wrong species. A nice job. That's not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted. A nurse yes. shark. Don't get up on the beam pole. On the beam pole. Get you up, Charlie. Well, let's try the nurse shark wrangler. Huh. Oh, so long, buddy. There goes the nurse jig head. Nurse sharks for days. Oh, oh! oh. I whipped one. You didn't see that. That's an amberjack. Oh, my God. Oh, That's a new species on the bean pole there, folks. See you guys back at the dock. It is windy and bumpy. That's houseboat row if you guys come down here to stay. You know, whether you're fishing with me or somebody else or Bean. That's the houseboat we've got. Uh, we finally got all rigged up. It's rented out. That's the newest one. Got the Mama Linda, the sailfish back there, the Aqua Lodge. There's some standard rooms up there too, so we got about a dozen units now. But we are back. It's windy. We're going to tie the boat up. We're going to play the fish. So. We survived, we got dinner. It wasn't a crush, it was bumpy, but it was a good day for the boat. We caught bait, caught yellow, a yellowtail snapper, caught some mangroves, Charlie got a big nurse shark, Bean got a couple of amberjacks. I think we're gonna do one whole yellowtail, and there's not a big one, they only gotta be 12 inches, like 13 and a half, 14 inches. But Bean did get a pretty decent mangrove, and then we got some smaller mangroves. But we're gonna fillet these guys, and then we're gonna do the yellowtail whole. Charlie's gonna help chef them up, he's gonna cook them up. I don't know how he's doing it yet. We're gonna go hit Publix up in a few minutes. Well, let's show you how we're gonna prep these first. Just fillet him just like normal. 
The mangrove is really good, and I haven't eaten mangrove snapper in a long time, so it's been a while. It's been a minute. Knock it off there like that. And out of there, we'll get rid of this uh, rib cage hair. And we'll flip it over and hit the pin bones. Just like that. And then we'll do the same on the other side. It's beautiful. Feel a visitor. A bird? That's a big bird. It's bean. It's bean and bird form. Bean did catch the big mangrove, so I gotta give him that. And you know what too? I'll probably save these carcasses for crab bait. We're just gonna scale them, knock the scales off. And what I learned too from you guys commenting, Mike could have taught me too, because Mike's the proper chef that does all this, but uh Keep the guts in while you scale them, and then after you scale them, then you can take the guts out. Much easier. Because if you gut them first, it folds over and bends over a lot more. You can use a hose on the Altels too, or like a spoon or a fork, but we got a knife on us, so we're using a knife. Just like that. And if you know if you get pan fish like this, we call them, you know, pan sized fish, if you do them this way, you do get a, quite a bit more meat you know, out of the head and right along the bone compared to when you fillet them. So he's like that. I'm going to spray him off. And then we're going to gut him and gill him and get rid of uh, all his guts and gills, just like it sounds. Get rid of a little bit more scales there. It's good. So we're going to come in here, gut him right on up. I'm gonna weigh up here, split them, pull all this stuff out. What do you think, how we're gonna cook them whole? Bake them or grill them? Probably gonna do a little grill action. Oh, he's gotta go on the grill. Gotta do it right, you know? Yeah, we gotta grill them. Especially when you got five sec grilling. But if you wanna know that fish ate, he ate a pilcher, you can see it right there. Either Charlie or Bean caught that one. Okay, so the guts are out just like that. Now we wanna take his gills out. So we're just gonna kinda of cut around them. Make like a little outline, and then we'll grab them and we'll pull the guts right out. And if you caught, you know, any sort of little snapper is perfect for this, whether it's yellowtail, mangrove, lane snapper, vermilion, they're like perfect to gut and cook whole. So that side's out. Now we'll reach in here and pull this side out. Just like that. Nothing in there now. And we'll just take the hose. We're going to cut this a little bit of memory in there. We'll take the hose. And spray him on out so he's ready to go and charlie will get them all prepped and we'll see you guys back at home in the kitchen charlie what are we doing well it was a little bit rough out there today but we persevered we've got some grade a mangrove snapper fillets right here we've got a grade a yellowtail snapper and we've got some fresh ingredients so we're going to do a proper kind of Caribbean evening, if you will, just to satisfy our hunger. This is one of my favorites right here. This is like a sweet soy ginger sesame marinade. You make it with sweet soy sauce. You can make it with a little scallion or ginger if you like. I like to put a little sesame oil in there. Just takes it up that extra little level to give you the savory flavor. So we're gonna actually do this snapper in the air fryer which is amazing. It's my first time frying a whole fish in an air fryer, but Sarah informs me that it is absolutely the way to go. Well, I don't know. We're going to try it. I've never done a whole fish. Well, that's how you do things. We've got to experiment. you got to figure this stuff out. We, we just got an air fryer, and Sarah likes to cook it's everything in it now. It's all the rage. So we're going to try this, and maybe we'll find something you know, incredible. Yeah. No crazy tricks to it. Just a little bit of oil. Get that nice, get it down in the meat a little bit so it really kind of... Gives you a nice coating. We're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side too. This is just regular olive oil. You can use your flavored olive oils if you like and they all kind of come together just the same. We're not gonna go too crazy with the seasoning. We don't wanna overpower it too much. Just a little bit here. And we're gonna go with this bad boy. Give her a nice little rub. <laughs> What's Claire Bear doing? Uh, I'm going to do Claire one. You want to do Claire one? Let's take a little bite. Mm. That's got to be funny. Let her take a little bite. Now, Claire is an animal and she eats limes and lemons and doesn't even make a face. Let her take a little bite, Jenny. 
<laughs> hey, how do you do my own one? You want your own? You do. How do I have a um, Why do you keep going back for seconds if it tastes funny? How do I have a lemon? You want a lemon? There you go. There you go. Heard beep beep. beep. All right, let's do this. Let's get that snapper fried. Let's do it. And while we're doing this, we're going to get this thing. The air fryer's ready. So um, Sarah's going to pull the tray. Or Nick's going to pull the tray. I guess we're going to pull the tray. Just boom, right in here. Yeah. We're going in. We're going to make that. Oh, she's Ooh, it's hot. She's ready. All right, bye. See you bye. Later. We'll see you in 12 minutes. Oh, it's six minutes we flip it. We'll see if this works. Air frying. All right. Now we're going to do our magic over here. Well, that's happening. So we're gonna take a little bit of this awesome sauce right here. We're just gonna get it a little bit. Ooh, that's hot. Just a little bit going. Nice and saucy. We're gonna bathe our bad boy in there. And that smell good. I can smell them. Those look pretty good. Little known fact. Food always tastes better when it is artfully presented. Bam. Perfect. If we jump in. Be careful, don't jump into her. So fun. Are you excited about the new aquarium? Wearing for fish, yeah. Whoa. 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 That's a big one. So this is our new aquarium in here. We're gonna make a reef tank. Sarah's an aquarist. She had a beautiful aquarium before, lots of corals and some fish. 125 gallons, so you guys are gonna see that project come along, come to life here the next few months. I like the lime on top of the uh, rice. Nice touch. That's the difference between a a $20 plate and a $15. Air fried plate. whole snapper. Looks pretty good. And we're, and we're that thing tastes. We're definitely, we're, we're, getting, yeah. we're getting where we need to go here. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks good. This looks good. A little bit. Here you go, you can make this one look pretty too. This is my plate. I'm gonna use it. Did you catch that one? Was I on the boat today? You took my boat out without me. Charlie. Yeah. It looks, we did our best, right? It looks really good yeah. and it smells really good. We're gonna find out. The question is, does it taste really good? That's that's enough. That's another question here. Claire ate some. Sadie was uh, not as big as a fan though. What do you think? I'm pretty happy with it. Delicious. One of my, one of my favorite flavors. We have to try that the- teriyaki uh, is really good. You good? Mm -hmm. We have to try the whole fried one in the air fryer too. Mm, well, I gotta say. Good? It's like candy snapper. It's pretty much the most delicious thing <laughs> ever. Let's give it a shot here. Fresh mangrove snapper. Caught with the bean. Make sure to check out his channel if you guys uh, want to see some funny stuff there. Bean Screen TV. But here we go. What's the verdict? Very good. Very sweet. <laughs> Reminds me of a. Um, yeah, and it was good. It uh, caramelized on it, so absolutely delicious. Can't go wrong with that. So, good job, Charlie. But. Now we have to try the whole fried yellowtail. It's gonna be good. I hope so. Okay, yeah. Get in here. Pull that bad boy apart. Charlie's using chopsticks. Old chopstick Charlie. That's me. Mm, be careful of bones. What do you think, Sarah? Air fryer for the win. It definitely yeah. wins. <laughs> Charlie's a good? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I like the crispy. I like my whole fried snapper like extra crispy, like deep fried. But if you don't have a deep fryer, this is an extraordinarily suitable alternative. More like a really hot broil. In like, like nine gross, minutes right? too. Was super fast. Just under ten minutes, it was done. Super fantastic. Good job, Charlie. We do the best we can around here. I like it. We're gonna eat it all. All right, the kids are yelling. Mm -hmm. Sadie wants a new movie on. She's at her table. That's all we got for you. So hope you enjoyed that video. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, come on down here to Bud and Mary's and Amrata, check it on out. I hope we see you guys down here one day. If you want any merch, check out the website, stansfishing.com. Hat, shirts, buffs, uh, rods on there, we got it all. So, all right, Sid, here we go. Claire, say goodbye. Till next time. Good job, Charlie. See you later.
Ladies, say bye.